I'm Emily. And I'm Ethan. We're traveling across America in search of its most captivating communities. All the while, we're working from the road and taking the adventures as they come. This is Remote! After visiting the charming beach college town of Arcata, we drove northward to the Redwood National Park. On our way, we stopped at Trinidad State Beach with turquoise sparkling water. A couple years ago, I'd read the Pulitzer Prize winning book, The Overstory, which details the fight to preserve these giant trees from deforestation. Learning about the, learning about the people that put their lives at risk to save these trees definitely gave me a new perspective. I'm so grateful that these wise and ancient beings are still on the planet today and I was able to spend time here. to the Redwood National Park and we're off the coast here of California and all these rocks that you see this jagged landscape were sediments that were deposited over 150 million years ago what happens is the Gorda plate which is the sea floor meets the North American tectonic plate and out here along the coast is the Cascadia subduction zone where these two plates drive the Gorda plate down and it splinters off rocks that get thrust up and produces these dramatic jagged cliffs that we're standing on. So this area produces the strongest earthquakes on Earth. In the Redwoods National Park, and this is our first night of actual backpacking, which we should have been doing a lot more backcountry because we love to do sunset hikes. And then it's just pointless to hike all the way back to the car and drive in the dark, so um, this is the first of many because we have all the equipment and it's just silly not to do it. It's a pretty short hike, only like half a mile in and uh, to where we spend the night the first night. This is called Flint Ridge. First I thought these were stems and then I realized they're all slugs. This is the bear locker. And the guardian of the bear locker. Gorbachev. Why? If you look at him, he looks like a Gorbachev. We took an edible plant walk the other day, and one of the plants that we were taught to recognize as edible is sorrel and it is everywhere here. I've been picking it and eating it as I walk. 95% of the original redwood forest was lost to logging. The 5% of old growth forest that is left is an irreplaceable treasure. We still don't know how long it actually takes to regenerate an old growth forest, as no one alive has witnessed this happening. After reveling in the presence of this mighty forest, we headed for the beach side of the park. This is our picnic spot. Over there is Gold Bluffs Beach. For lunch, we have 
lion's mane mushroom in a multi-grain wrap with some cheese, some um, fancy greens, hummus, tomato. This is buttered lion's mane mushrooms, which almost tastes like buttered popcorn. It's so decadent. It's a wrap. Next, we visited Fern Canyon, which is a World Heritage Site and International Biosphere Reserve. It's also been used on the sets of several movies, including The Lost World. For anyone traveling to the Redwoods, Please note that you must reserve a permit ahead of time for either of the areas I've just shown, the beach or the canyon. Public service announcement. If a duck gets behind your horse, you will be trampled. Thanks for visiting Redwoods National Park. The beach is a fun destination on its own, but in these parts, you can even see sea lions playing in the surf. Although these beaches are gorgeous, you won't find many people swimming or surfing because there are plenty of sharks in these waters. Just to the north of the Prairie Creek Redwoods Park is the town of Klamath where the Klamath River meets the ocean. We came here to watch the sunset. We were amazed to find the area teeming with wildlife, including sea lions and otters. California sea lions appear in Redwood National and State Parks in the summer after the breeding season in Southern California and remain throughout the winter before returning south to breed. They are playful creatures and can be frequently seen porpoising and rolling in the waves. In the spring, this is also a great spot for watching harbor seals. We had a truly special and amazing experience at the Redwood State and National Parks. I cannot possibly say enough good things about this part of the world.